So hello, um, today's class is a yin class. It's going to be a wood element yin class. And so in traditional Chinese medicine, wood is associated with the um, season of spring, which we are in now. Um, if you have allergies like I do, you know that we're in full spring. Um, but this is also the element that is associated with being like courageous and decisive. Um, and if it's out of balance, if it's you don't have enough, you could be a little bit timid. If you have too much, you could be very rash in your decision making. So the goal of this is not only to stretch the muscles and the myofascia and to like create a better sense of balance in your body, but it's also to create a better sense of balance in your perspective and how you're going out into the world. So it will target um, the liver and gallbladder meridians through acupressure. Um, I learned this from Trish, uh, from Tiffany Kirkshank, so I'm doing her 500 hour class. I like this, so I hope you guys like it too. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm sitting on a blanket, so if you have a blanket or a towel that you can sit on, you're gonna want a couple blocks, so get those. And we're gonna start in an easy seated position with legs crossed. It doesn't matter what shin's in front because we're gonna get the other side anyhow. But I want you to sit very tall, put your hands on your knees, or if you prefer them in your lap, or even at heart center. But sit tall, close the eyes, and just breathe. So just a very simple meditation. And all that is is just focusing on the sound of your breath. And letting the thoughts pass by. Do not try to control your thoughts. You cannot stop them, but you can control whether or not you react to, the, to them. So just let them pass you by. Just observe them and pass by. Take another big breath. And then slowly blink the eyes open. I want you to bring your right hand out to your right side and you're gonna reach your left arm up and over and get a good side bend here. So you could look up, forward, or down. If you wanna walk that hand out further, you can do that as well. But we're not looking for the biggest stretch here. So inhale, come up through center, opposite hand down, opposite arm over. Gaze where is appropriate for your neck. And come back up through center. I want you to be on your fingertips and walk your fingertips back behind you. Roll the shoulder blades back together. And you can either keep your gaze forward or if it's appropriate for your neck, you can let your head fall back for a little bit more of a back bend. Good, and then you're gonna to start to look forward. And I want you to just walk your hands forward so you're finding yourself in a very easy forward folding bend. And don't worry if your forehead doesn't touch the ground. Just slump over. And then start to walk the hands back towards you. You can lean back and we're just gonna switch the cross of the legs. So whatever shin was in back is now in front. And we're gonna sit tall again, hands on the knees, the lap, or at the heart center in prayer. Close your eyes and breathe. And you might find that you drop into a steady breath right away. You might find that you drop into a quieter mind right away. And if so, just stay with the breath. And if you find yourself swaying a bit like a tree in the breeze, well, it is a wood element class, so it would be appropriate. Your last big breath in. Exhale it out. Blink the eyes open. This time the left hand is going to come out to the left side. Right arm up and over. Find the stretch. If you hear heavy breathing in the background, that is my English bulldog gunner. He's very serious about his breathing. <laughs> Inhale up through center. Right hand down left arm over. A 
come back up through center. On your fingertips, roll the shoulders back, puff out the chest, gaze forward or up. Chin comes down, start to walk the hands forward. Just slump over into an easy forward folding bend. Walk the hands back. Good, we're just gonna come off of our mat. We're gonna come into a supported puppy pose. So if you have sensitive knees, you might wanna keep this blanket here and you can bring your, hand, your, your knees onto them. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep the hips directly above the knees. And so I'm gonna move my blanket, but you can stay on your blanket. And you're gonna bring one of those blocks forward Another option is place a blanket over the block because you might want a soft landing for your forehead. So hips stay above the knees. We're gonna bring our forehead to the block and then just you know, modify and then you can just drop into it here. And so just know like right now I've got it kind of medium. You might want it lower. Another option is to remove the block entirely and to just rest your forehead on the mat. So don't go for your most extreme stretch because we're gonna be here for another three or four minutes. So you wanna find something very mild and you're just gonna let gravity do the trick here. Another thing is as sensation starts to build, you do not have to wait for my invitation to move yourself into a position that is more comfortable or more suitable. Go ahead and just listen to your body and adjust accordingly. Breath be soft and fluid. If the breath becomes rapid at any point, adjust your posture so you can come back to a more steady breathing rhythm. Big inhale, exhale it out. Then you can start to come off that block or blanket and we're gonna sit all the way back in the child's pose. Now, if you like, your arms can be forward or you can let them come to your sides if you've got a big stretch through your shoulders and you wanna let those shoulders relax a little bit. We're just gonna stay here for a quick moment. Start to push yourself up. You can drop your hips to either side. Okay. So you've got your blanket and you're gonna wanna roll it up into a bit of a burrito. Now, just forewarned, you might wanna play with the thickness of it. So take your time with it. But right now you can start with whatever thickness you have. You're gonna place that here to your left-hand side and you're gonna have your block ready. And so you're gonna to start to lie onto this rolled up blanket and you're gonna put your rib cage on it. So it's not gonna land here in the armpit or between the ribs and the hips. It's gonna land right on the rib cage. And you're gonna let your left arm slide forward and you're gonna bring your head to that block and play with it. And you might want a higher setting, you might want a lower setting. Find what is suitable for you today and you're gonna let that right arm come up and overhead. 
Now another option is if you have that extra block, you can let that right arm rest nice and easy on that. And that might be good for you. So just drop in. If it feels a little bit difficult to breathe at first, you know, we're putting pressure on the ribs and we're creating a bit of a back bend or a side bend here. Um, just take a moment and let the breath relax. If it starts to become too much, then you might want to come up and make your roll a little bit smaller so it's not as chunky and creating as much of a bend. Just close your eyes and breathe. sleep as soundly as that dog. My goodness. Just remember, if you find any discomfort or if the sensation becomes too much, very slowly come out of it and adjust. And I always move very slowly, especially in a yin class. I don't want any sudden movements. You know, you just want to be very gentle with yourself as passive as this is, it's also a very deep stretch. And the last big inhale. Exhale it out. Okay. So now, if you want, you can remove the block or you can move it to a lower setting. And the block for your hand, you can remove. We're gonna stay where we are. We're just, now that our body's a little bit more acclimated to this position, we're just finding a little bit of a deeper stretch. So to know that you can still have the block but have it on a lower setting and have support for your arm or without support, or you can remove the blocks entirely. If you find part way through, because we will be here for a few minutes, that you change your mind about what you chose, just go back to whatever is right. You're allowed to change your mind. We do not have contracts on yin yoga. Be slow and steady. Let the body get heavy. If you have any thoughts that pass through, just let them go. Watch them go by. And if you want questions to meditate on, 
offer you practice forgiveness and kindness to yourself you practice forgiveness and kindness to others if you ever open your eyes and look up and see me moving I'm checking my watch to not keep you here too long but I also need to stay awake <laughs> So stay in your position, you don't have to move. I'm just trying to stay awake so I can continue to teach your class. Because for me, this is very relaxing. your last big inhale. Exhale it out and get heavy. So I want you to start by letting your right arm come rest on the right side of your body, just nice and slow. Then you can let that hand come down, lean forward a little bit and just really take your time. You're just going to start to slowly push yourself back up to sitting upright. No need to rush, especially in this class. And so you can keep your rolled up mat, your rolled up blanket where you are. I'm gonna move it because I want to look forward at the screen to be able to talk to you so you can hear me. So I'm gonna move my blocks and my blanket to the other side. You're, you're welcome to do the same if you prefer. And so it's the same thing. We're gonna let that rolled up blanket come to the right side of our rib cage reach the right arm forward and rest our head on that block. And then we've got that other block handy to let that left arm come up and overhead. And so you might come into this, you know, having that moment of like, oh, it's hard to breathe. And, and especially since we were on the other side for so long, creating that big side bend, it's, it's going to maybe feel a little bit rough when you first come in, but just stay with it for a moment. Breathe. You could even think about when you inhale, pressing your rib cage into that blanket to create a little bit more space. You stay where you are. I have to grab water. have music that you'd like to play in the background just soft gentle music you can do so I can put together a Spotify list for you and include a link um, to songs that I like for you in yoga so that's another option too you can enjoy the sweet sounds of a snoring puppy. That'll lull you to sleep too. So we have a few more minutes here. Just adjust as you need to. And let yourself drop really heavy.
first and for last, but inhale here. Exhale it out. And so either move the block to a lower setting or remove the blocks entirely. This is where we're gonna find that deeper stretch. And I just fold over into it. So with my top arm, I'm not on the block, but I like to lay that palm very flat. But you might wanna let your arm hang a different way. So just know that if you have a different arm position, it's okay. We don't have to look the same. What's gonna feel right in your body is gonna look and feel different than what feels right in my body. And honestly, it's gonna look and feel different for you and your body each day. So what you do with this class today might be very different if you do it again tomorrow, for instance. I mentioned the wood element is associated with courage and decisiveness, but if it's in excess, it can be a bit rash, a bit aggressive. And so there is always the possibility when you're doing a wood element, the in class or flow, anger might bubble up. Um, and that that's okay. That's that's kind of part of what this element is all about. So you know, practice taking a deep breath through it. Maybe you talking right now while you're trying to rest is making you feel angry. So practice taking a deep breath through it and I will be quiet for the next few minutes.
start to take your last big inhale. Exhale and out. Very slowly bring that top left arm to let it rest on the side of your body. Take a moment. And you can lean forward a little bit, bring that left hand down. You're gonna start to very slowly push yourself up just enough to move that blanket out to the side. And then I want you to just lie all the way back down here, just for a moment. Let everything settle down. And then you're gonna bring your arms up and overhead. And I want you to start to walk your hands over the left side, so you're just getting a very subtle right side body bend. Your arms, shoulders need to be resting on the mat. And then you're gonna walk the legs over and your hips are gonna rest on the mat. So you're kind of like a banana shape. Now, if you want a little bit more stretch, you can cross your right ankle over the left, but I don't want you to look for the most extreme stretch because we're gonna be here for a few minutes. Just a very subtle, subtle banana shape. And as time passes, and as we allow our body to relax and let gravity do the work, we will get a good, deep, right side body stretch here. Your gaze can be wherever you want. If you have a chilly house, you can use the blanket to keep you nice and toasty. and heavy. Remember to adjust as you need to. And if you fall asleep, you fall asleep. It's okay. And the thing about practicing at home is you can do that. minute here. If you want to find more stretch, less stretch, take this opportunity. Take your last big inhale. Exhale it out. Go ahead and walk your feet back to center. Bring your arms back to center. And then just let your arms come to your sides for a moment here. Just let everything rest. Let the blood flow back into the tissues. Let everything settle in for a moment. We know we gotta get to the other side. Good, arms up and overhead. This time we're gonna creep the arms over to the right side. Remember those shoulders want to be resting on the mat. Creep the legs over the left side. Hips wanna be resting on the mat. 
option to cross that left ankle over the right. It's just not available to me today, so I'm not doing that. But you can if you want to. Then we'll just drop into our banana on the opposite side, getting a good left side body stretch. You can turn your head in any direction and keep it upright. So you really see the movements here. Just remember, I'm not looking for you to find your biggest or most extreme stretch. I really want you to pull it back a lot, like you have permission to not go 100%, but this is the place. And just let gravity do it for you. I don't want any effort from you. You can just rest here. the bulldog snoring <laughs> of doing nothingness into this moment. Heavy, heavy. And take your last big inhale. Exhale it all out, get heavy. And you're gonna bring those weights back to center. You're gonna bring the body, upper body back to center and let the arms come to your sides and just rest here for a moment with everything. Settle in. Help you feel a little bit more balance between left and right side. And you can just start to bend your knees and you're just gonna roll onto whatever side you prefer. You're gonna put your hand down and very slowly push yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Ooh, here we go. Okay. So that blanket, in my case, I just used mine to stay warm, but we're gonna create that little blanket burrito again. This is another instance where you're gonna want to play with how thick that roll is. Sorry, I need a sip. Okay, and we're gonna grab a block. We're gonna grab our blanket. So I want you to be on your right-hand side and you're creating kind of a lightning bolt with your leg. So your right knee is bent, your right foot is kind of resting on top of your left knee and your left knee is bent. So I don't know if you can see, it's kind of when you're sitting down this position. And you're gonna to look towards the short edge of the front of your mat where your block is, and that block is gonna be for your head. Now this rolled up blanket, you're gonna tuck it right into the right hip crease, kind of the belly here, and I want you to rotate your shoulders towards the short edge with that blanket tucked into the crease and you're going to bring your forehead to the block and so you can have it 
higher up with arms at either side. You can have it medium, or that was lowest, you can have it medium. Find something that feels best for you and, and do something that's a little bit pulled back because we're gonna be here for a few minutes and you can go in deeper, but start not at the most extreme because it's gonna allow your body to relax and trust that this is a safe position. And then once your body feels relaxed and safe and then you want a little bit more, then you can go deeper. That's the beauty of yin. It's not only checking in with where your body is in this moment and how you feel, but it gives you a chance to let your body accept what you're asking of it. So you might be feeling a big stretch through the outer right thigh, the hip, feeling pressure in your belly. You can always inhale and push your belly into the blanket to create a little bit more space if you feel that you need it. But again, if the roll's too thick, just bring yourself up and roll it a little bit so it's a little bit less and then tuck it back in and come back down. Everybody's gonna have something that feels right for them. can adjust how deep you go into this posture according to how you feel for any last minute. So if you want more, you want less, or if you're just right where you are. start to walk the hands back, start to press into them, start to bring your forehead off that block. Really just take your time here. No sudden movements. Can come up. So in my case, I'm going to switch my block to the other side. You can do the same or you can stay as you were. Very slowly, very gently, I'm going to move. So now this time my left knee is bent. My right knee is bent. Left foot is kind of tapping the top of the right knee. Block is where I'm going to put my forehead facing the short edge of the mat. I'm taking my rolled up blanket. And so you can keep it the same roll as you were if you want to go thicker or lighter. Press that into the crease, rotate your shoulders towards that short edge of the front of the mat. And then wherever, however far you're coming down, you're gonna rest that head on the block. 
you might be comfortable with your forehead all the way down on the mat, you're welcome to do that. I'm not feeling quite that, that much depth today, so what can I say, I'm shallow. I'm just gonna embrace, embrace the sweet, sweet sounds of a snoring bulldog. It's amazing. So remember, when you first come in, if you find it a little bit tough to breathe in this rotation, we had been twisting to the other side for a few minutes, so it's gonna take your body a minute to relax and sort of catch up with what, it, what you want it to do here. Let's just be patient with it. We wanna be friends with our body and encourage it and cooperate instead of getting mad at it for being what it is. to have a question to meditate on in these postures, keeping in line with the wood element, you could ask yourself, do I practice kindness and forgiveness to others? Do I practice kindness and forgiveness to myself? Whatever answers bubble up, try to receive them without judgment or something you need to correct in yourself. So just observe the information that comes forth. And if nothing comes forth, that's okay too. You don't have to force an answer here. Our last couple minutes. So from more or less step in the posture as you see fit. Really trust yourself in what feels right for you. the biggest gift that yoga gave me was learning to trust myself. It's funny how you can go through life and not do that and not realize you're not trusting yourself. So I hope you have that gift for you too. If it's not something you've already received. Last big inhale. Exhale out. Very slowly start to walk those hands back. Start to bring your torso back upright. Just take your time. You don't have to do anything too quickly. Whew. All right, final posture here. So you can bring your mat to the wall. I'm gonna move a little bit here. I like to have my mat lengthwise because I want a place for my noggin. And I'm gonna move here. And so you're gonna have this rolled up blanket. Actually, I should probably do it over here so you guys can see. I'm just gonna step on my donkeys. <laughs> All right, so you've got your mat up against the wall and you've got your rolled up blanket. Again, this is one that you might want not as thick 
and you're going to get as close to the wall as is comfortable for you. I like to really bring my butt up against the wall because I'm going to bring, and it's not going to like curl as you do this, by the way. There's no graceful way to do this. I'm going to bring my butt up against the wall. Legs up are going to come up the wall. I'm going to pull that blanket right under my tailbone so my hips are still resting on the wall. Okay, so that's phase one. Phase two, go ahead and bend your knees and you're gonna press your hips up, bring your right ankle to your left knee and let the hips drop back down. Now, if this is too intense right here, just let that left leg straighten. So it's just not as much of a bend. You can bend that left leg as much as you need to get the stretch that is appropriate. I did some good damage on my legs this week, so <laughs> this is where I'm staying today. But if you've got more available, go for it. We're just going to stay here for a few minutes to get a big old IT band and hamstring stretch. And just remember, if that blanket is a little bit too much, you're just very slowly going to bring your hips up. You can remove the blanket entirely or lessen the roll of it. So if your body starts to relax and just stretch, you can bend the left knee more. If it starts to just become too intense, just straighten that left leg a little bit more. You want to feel a good stretch, but not something that you can't sit through. Your face should be able to relax. Your breathing should be remaining calm and smooth. Inhale, exhale it out, drop in heavy. Go ahead and start to bend that left knee, press the left foot into the wall to lift the hips, unhook the right foot from the left knee, place the right foot down. Now the left ankle is gonna come to the right knee, and let the hips drop. So you might need to straighten that right leg a little bit. It might be too intense right away. Remember that we had that right leg there for a few minutes, so we had time to acclimate. We want to let the left leg this time have that same opportunity to adjust. Bend that knee more or less for more or less of a stretch. And if you find yourself fidgeting, see if you can get to a comfortable sit position or take a big inhale and exhale. about outside of class will still be there. We just have a few more minutes. See if you can give yourself a few more minutes of calm.
forgiveness to others? Do I practice kindness and forgiveness to myself? that right foot in the wall to lift the hips, unhook the left foot, place that left foot on the wall, let the hips drop. Now Shavasana is going to be a little bit different. You can stay here and you can straighten the legs and let them rest out. Or if you like, you can even let the knees bend and let them drop down. Hands can be on your heart and belly or at your sides. And just let everything get heavy here. Now, if you want traditional Shavasana, by all means, please pull yourself away from the wall very slowly and let the legs go long. But today I want this inversion for you. So if it feels good, please stay here. But knees can be bent or straight, whatever is suitable for you. If you have an eye pillow or a t-shirt or a towel to cover up your eyes to block out the light, And then as you exhale, allow the eyes to rest very heavy in the sockets. And the jaw releases. And as you feel your neck muscles relax, that head rests so heavy on the mat beneath you. Shoulders drop back. And as you exhale next, you feel your heart beating very softly and contentedly in your chest. Belly feels calm. Hips relax, allowing those legs to drop a little bit heavier. Feel the energy, the relaxation, the softness wash down your feet, over your knees, down your thighs, over your torso, your face, allowing you to drop into your final and deepest relaxation. stay here or if you like I invite you to come back into your breath I invite you to come back into your body by wiggling your fingers and your toes and go ahead and just start to very gently bring the legs together and you're just going to roll onto your side here whatever side you prefer just take your time to press up to a comfortable seated position. 
I'm gonna sit with my back up against the wall. Just lean up against it, rest my head, hands in my lap. Take a few breaths as we allow the blood to flow back down into the body. Probably all up in your head right now. Maybe you can slowly blink your eyes open. Come back to the now. Thank you so much for joining me for this wood element yin yoga class. I hope you feel a little bit rested, a little bit restored. Um, join me for more. There's earth element up, um, water and metal and fire will be coming soon. So thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste. Go forth and be awesome.